Hi everybody, Hi. it's Chris here and Georgia and we are here doing our weekly Instagram live. We're going to talk about some of the latest beauty news. Um, we haven't done one of these in a little while because we've had lots of interviews, lots of, uh, we had our haul video earlier this week as well. So if you haven't seen those already, go and check those out. They're all in our Instagram TV or on our grid. Uh, and on our YouTube, they're everywhere. So um, go check those out. Um, but yeah, we thought we'd just talk about some of the big stories that have happened recently, yes. uh, including one that came out just this morning. Yeah, well, we wrote it. Well, yeah, this we covered it this morning. Um, <laughs> no, so a really interesting, super in depth report has been commissioned by the British Beauty Council, um, and they published it, I think, yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, it's all about the value of the beauty industry. And there are some really, really interesting stats in there. Um, the kind of the key ones we covered in the story on the web and on our website that I've done today, but it's definitely worth having a look at the report in depth because um, yet yeah, they've done some really interesting research um, and looked into areas that I haven't really seen people look into like super thoroughly before. So anyway, some of the kind of top line um, and most interesting stats, in my opinion. Um, so spending on beauty. This is all about twenty eighteen, by the way. Um, so spending on beauty services reached 1.4 billion in 2018 um, and that is just beauty specifically mm -hmm. they categorize it into um like product spend and some other things but services but within that they do like hair holistic and beauty so um beauty and holistics together 1.4 billion spend in the uk last year um the overall value of the beauty industry um in terms of what it contributed to the uk economy 28.4 billion um, which equates to 1.3% of the total GDP in the UK last year. Um, and which I actually, is incredible. Yeah, which yeah. Is incredible. And I saw a piece that um, another, that a paper had, a kind of a think piece that they'd done off the back of this, um, kind of just entitled, it's really time that we take the industry seriously. Mm -hmm. um, and I think when people look at figures like this, like, there's no denying that, because it's something like the, the, um, the GDP is at, was actually more than the, the motor industry. Um, wow. Yeah, last year. In yeah. The UK. Um, so yeah, it's really time we take the industry seriously. Yeah. So just a few other things. Um, yeah. So that that total UK GDP, twenty eight point four billion, um, is equivalent to the economic activity of all of Manchester or Glasgow last year. Mm -hmm. um, and then. Yeah, I mean, holistic treatment spend was at 240 million alone, and we know the holistic mm. area is really growing. Yeah. Um, so that is interesting. Um, and they also looked at employment in a really in depth way. So there are more people employed um, in the beauty industry mm -hmm. than in the legal industry and social work sector. Um, and the largest share of that came from the beauty services sector, so um, hair. And beauty salons and spas mm -hmm. um so you guys are employing over 150,000 people um in your businesses so that was really interesting like i said have a look at it on our website mm -hmm. i've linked through to the british beauty council site so you can download the report in its entirety really interesting um and i really like how they are championing the industry and commissioning some really good research and they're not just looking at consumers like product yeah. spend but they're um looking at the the service side and sector. those those are some figures that we really should be shouting out about yeah, and that people should be really proud of i think and yeah. you know it's, it's really good and it's great to see the beauty industry just continuing to grow yeah um, definitely and speaking of being proud and um talking about sort of being up the beauty industry uh, we have launched our uh, be you be pro campaign uh, this week which it's mainly going to start around professional beauty north professional beauty island and the show is going on from there but we just really want to sort of encourage beauty professionals to shout out about like the amazing work that you're doing every day uh, you know in your salon whether you're a freelancer all those all the work that you're doing and, and the training that you're putting into it we want you to really want to you know, show it off to the world so that's something we'll be running across social media there will be a competition attached to it we're still working out all the details of that but we have a post on our instagram grid um which you can find out more of the info on there is an article on the website as well um, we've got people asking about can i ask questions um we can't really cover them in that much detail on here um, because of the way that the lives work but if you drop us a dm or comment on this when it gets put on our um 
on the grid as a preview or you can drop us comments lots of ways um, and we will get back to you. Yeah, I mean, you could, but you just might not be able to answer it. Yeah, yeah, that is a, that is a potential thing as well. <laughs> um, so, um, other bits of news. Um, last week, I think it was, we found out that War Nails is closing. Um, so that is um, Sharmadine Reed, who is also the founder of Beauty Stack. War Nails is closing down. It's been uh, 10 years that it's been running and they are closing down the store in Soho in London, um, which, you know, it's a shame to see that go. You know, it's it's been... They were, they were sort of revolutionary in some of the things that they were doing. Um, and I know lots of people have been there and really, you know, praised it and really, really had... It's had great reviews over the years. But I know Sharmadine, I think, has told us in um, a little a few comments that she gave us you know, the focus is sort of growing beauty stack and that's doing really, really well. So that is kind of the focus now. And I think it's better, like, in a way, like, if you've got that focus, you don't want to let something else, like, it close wire on a high in a way, maybe. But I think that's a really good way of doing it rather than anything else. So that is another big bit of news that has come through. And then, yeah, we've got PB North. Um, PB Island coming up in October. Lots and lots of little bits coming out about that. Um, I believe there will be stuff on the business skills stage. Um, we've got Salon and Spa Connect, which... So much. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. much stuff happening. So much. Um, and you can follow all about that on our website, in uh, on our social medias. And it should be really, really good. We'll be there. We will be there. Present Full as force. ever. Full force. Um, yeah. So yes, um, that's kind of all the big bits of news that we were going to cover today. Um, obviously, we will be back next week for another Instagram Live. Yeah, and as ever, if there's anything you want to let us know about, questions you want to ask, suggestions for content, that kind of thing, then just let mm -hmm. us know in all of the myriad ways that you can do that. Yeah, and um, keep your eyes peeled for the August issue of PB, which we'll be talking about in a live, I think in two weeks' time. Um, but yeah, that's yeah. coming out. That'll be out with you soon. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, really, really good They're issue really good. that one. I mean, yeah, that's a good one. obviously. I mean, Georgia writes a lot of it, so obviously it's going to be good. Um, and yeah, cool. I think that's it. So we yeah. will see you later, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.